When SpaceX launches a rocket, most people only focus on whether it explodes or not. However, there's much more involved in measuring the success of a mission. The rocket is just one part of the equation. There's also the launch mount, the launch tower, and other surrounding infrastructure to consider. Creating this infrastructure can be as challenging as building the rocket itself, and any damage to it means more than just a setback for SpaceX. Recently, images of the launch pad after the latest launch were released and they didn't meet everyone's expectations. In this video, we will talk about these developments and discuss whether the launch pad will be ready for the next flight on time. The launch pad faced several significant issues during the recent Starship launch, particularly with the water deluge system and the ship quick disconnect. SpaceX implemented the water deluge system after the first Starship launch created a large crater beneath the launch pad. This system floods the area with water to cool the pad and suppress flames. Despite this, the water-cooled steel plate beneath the orbital launch mount showed significant wear after the recent launch. Post-flight images revealed that the steel plate had turned yellow due to the intense heat from the rocket engines. This suggests that while the steel plate works, it may not be durable enough for long-term use. SpaceX may need to modify or replace the steel plate with one that can better handle the extreme conditions of rocket launches. For Starship launches, this system can discharge up to 40,000 gallons of water per minute, much more than what was used in previous rocket launches. Despite these measures, the steel plate underneath the orbital launch mount is showing signs of wear after just a few launches. SpaceX may need to explore more advanced materials or additional cooling techniques to enhance its durability. The ship quick disconnect also faced some issues after the launch. This component connects the rocket to ground systems, supplying it with fuel, oxidizer, and power during the pre-launch phase and then disconnecting smoothly as the rocket lifts off. SpaceX has made several adjustments to address issues, including altering its position and expanding its operating range. Despite these efforts, the system continues to struggle with the powerful forces of rocket launches. The Quick Disconnect system is designed with several safety features to manage these challenges. SpaceX may need to explore more robust materials or innovative designs to enhance the system's resilience. Despite these issues, the Chopstick system, part of SpaceX's innovative Mechazilla, still appears to be functioning well post-launch. This system is designed to catch and stabilize the rocket booster upon return, eliminating the need for landing legs and allowing for rapid reusability. Musk is now planning to launch another Starship as soon as next month. SpaceX is making several upgrades to Starship, including reinforcing the heat shield and upgrading critical components. The most crucial upgrades involve the heat shield, which will now be twice as strong and include a silicone felt layer for extra protection. SpaceX is also working on a new design for the hot staging section and adding roll control thrusters to improve control during landing. Another exciting change for the upcoming flight is the re-entry profile of the Super Heavy booster. SpaceX now aims to catch the booster using the Mechazilla arm, a method never attempted by any other organization. This approach involves the booster steering itself towards the catch tower. During the fourth flight, SpaceX used a virtual tower to simulate the catching process, gathering data on the booster's ability to navigate and position itself for a precise catch. Musk stated that the successful execution of this virtual tower catch gave SpaceX the confidence to attempt the actual catch in the upcoming flight. Looking at the success of the fourth flight, many experts predict the fifth flight will be near perfect and might even carry some payload to orbit. The FAA recently reviewed the launch and released their findings. They reached a unique agreement with SpaceX before the launch, pre-approving certain scenarios that would not require a mishap investigation. This streamlined process allows SpaceX to prepare for the next flight without the usual procedural delays. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.